Time for another obscure arcade game that never left Japan, Taito's 1983 Chack and Pop, ported by Tosei, of course. Jack and Pop's only known ability is that it's considered the spiritual prequel to Bubble Bobble as the monster and mighty enemy appear in this game and will later appear in that game. Here, Jack and the bird blob thing must recover his hearts that were stolen by the monsters as seen in the opening of the arcade version, who Chacken was sharing with Mrs. Chacken. Getting a game over will have both of them look deeply disappointed in you. Now I just feel bad. Also removed from the home port is a tutorial scene. I guess since you bought the game, you won't need a moment to learn how to play. But to play, Chacken must traverse through small pits to recover the hearts that are locked up in cages. Thankfully, Chacken spelunks with bombs and wing and can throw two at a time, one to his left and one to his right. They're meant to blow up the cages or the eggs housing the monster young, who will hatch eventually and these things have no mercy, so blow them up too. Chacken can't jump, but can expand his legs to help him walk on the ceiling. Is it awkward? Oh, you bet. Mightia serves as the timer. If you don't unlock all the hearts in time, the exit is sealed off, but it's super long, allowing you to take out a few monsters for points. So Tosei did a pretty good job on this one compared to their last few messes, but I think that quality is only equal to the fact that this isn't a very exciting game. It doesn't have that, that addicting arcade feel like so many other arcade titles we already covered have. I'd say it's worth a try, at least to see how you feel about it, but it's understandable why everyone remembers Bubble Bobble and not Chack and Pop. Although Taito does pay tribute by featuring Chacken in later Bubble Bobble related games.